Hi friends, welcome to another pour. So today's pour is inspired by hummingbirds. Um, so the spring is here and we have a lot of hummingbirds and bees outside. So yes, this one is called Hummingbird. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. So for today's pour, I'm going to use a lot of really vibrant colors because um, as you saw, the hummingbird has those sort of vibrant colors, but it also has like um, like an electric greenish aqua color uh, in the wings. And then um, as you saw on the neck area, it has like a magenta uh, color so yeah so I, I added that in um, and it has like a sheen so I added um, the Amsterdam Azo orange I also added lilac and then um, some of the magenta the color shift magenta color by full guard lots of gold because I do want it to shimmer and then uh, back to some of the rouge and then some of the uh, permanent a violet um, blue hue and then some aqua and of course they low blue um, because of the sky in the background so hopefully um, this will work out so I'm gonna um, do a flip cup but it's gonna be okay so the flip, flip cup I'm going to put some paint around it um, to sort of um, artificially make the colors that I want to be highlighted um, and so those are sort of the magenta for the ring around the neck and this aqua and um, also blue so this aqua um, I wanted to sort of mimic sort of a wing and then but once I started putting the magenta for around the neck then um, the magenta was um, or the ring of around the neck was larger than the wing so then I kind of gave up on that idea but um I still had the I still have the aqua underneath so once I flip the cup um I can still um be able to u utilize that as well so now since my uh ring around the neck it's kind of too big for the body of the hummingbird um I decided to go ahead and pour the blue a little bit over it so that it covers it a little tiny bit because I don't have to worry too much about it since um, it is a flip cup so I can kind of um, move the cup around um, to get rid of areas that I may not necessarily like um, but yeah so this one is just a fun spring um, pour uh, and again, it's inspired by the hummingbirds. Um, when Julian um, was here, we um, took a walk outside and we um, discovered all this spring in the air. So that is why um, we're doing this particular pour. Again, inspired by all the hummingbirds and the bees outside. But specifically, this one's called Hummingbird. And... Uh, yeah, so hopefully um, you like it and you uh, take some time to explore the spring outside. It's so beautiful. And I know we're all going through different things, especially right now with the issues in Ukraine and issues in our own personal lives as well. Health issues as well. Um, but I think sometimes we just need to be go outside and just breathe and, you know, be one with nature if you will um and just really take a look and you know see what's out there um it's everything uh, is uh, progressing with the life cycle you know some things end and other things uh, start up so yeah try to enjoy it try to have fun and um 
just try to relax and have a, a good life. So this one is super quick um, because like I said, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, um, inspiration, which is the hummingbird. And we, like I said, we have a ton of bees now. You know, I am allergic to, <laughs> to bee stings, so that's not always a good thing, but I know that we need bees, and so we we'll always plant lots of um, milkweed and for the butterflies as well. I've only seen um, black butterflies so far, which is, um, you know, they look kind of weird. Um, literally, they're black. They ha may have like a little tinge of different colors here and there, but it's majority of their body is black which is kind of weird um but uh we usually get a lot of monarchs and um other types um throughout the summer the spring and the summer so um i know we're gonna um get to see them as well uh, right now i am just trying to get um, all the nuggets out um of the paint out of the painting um and the nuggets were part of the magenta, um, the color shift, the magenta, the color shift one, um, had a lot of nuggets and I didn't realize it until, um, you know, I had already put it in. Um, and the reason why I didn't strain it today was because I strained it yesterday and I thought in one day it wouldn't have made a difference, but unfortunately it did make a difference and um yeah so because this you know the summer we're in the desert so yeah so my paints um are drying out a little bit faster so i have to probably utilize them faster um, and also mix in smaller cups so i've tried that before i've even purchased the little three ounce dixie cups um, but I always end up, you know, mixing 16 ounces each time. I'm going to try to not buy any 16 ounce cups. So that way I don't have that option. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to call this one done. It's really pretty. Uh, what do you think? Um, so let me take you in for a close up. Now, this kind of looks like a marbled pour, doesn't it? I really love it. And definitely gives me that um, shimmer and iridescence of the hummingbird. Um, I wish I had put a little bit more blue so that it would have made it a little darker because the wings are a little darker. Um, if you see a, a hummingbird up close, um, it the, the wings are sort of like a, a shimmery, uh, green, turquoisey, almost like a peacock color. Um, and su super dark in some places. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, next time if I'm ever inspired by a hummingbird, I'll try to add more of the blue and perhaps even a, a little bit of, of green would have been nice. Um, but still, it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. So, um, yeah, I'm really thankful to the Pink Goddess for this one. I'm thankful to Mother Earth for the birds and the bees and uh, especially the bees because we need them and uh, even though I will <laughs> I am allergic to them um, I do very much appreciate them and I'm always um, thankful and happy to see them return every year um, yeah and um, yeah so right now the the property is booming with um, beautiful flowers. I'm a little afraid because we're also getting a lot of um, like dust storms and stuff. And so when we have the, the flowers from spring and stuff, and then the dust storms, um, usually we lose a lot of the flowers. And so therefore the fruits are gone or whatever, but we have plenty of fruit trees that usually it doesn't matter, but um, this year, had a significant amount more of those dust storms so hopefully um, we'll still get some fruits this year um, but you know 
even if we don't get fruits this year, um, we're just happy with um, the the trees because or the leaves on the trees because we are in the desert so any trees are a good thing all right well thank you so much for watching this uh, video i hope you liked it and i look forward to seeing you in the next one thank you so much